Hi guys, Pragyan here. Currently a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi, and welcome back to our channel. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Spilling Out Secrets. And today for this episode, we have with us Rishikesh, All India Rank Three in NEET UG this year. So first of all, congrats, Rishikesh. How do you feel right now? It feels great, and uh, more than anything else, it's a relief. So besides our hard work, anyhow, I think everyone works hard, but then there is that. luck factor during those 3 hours so i'm really uh, fortunate i am really grateful that i had that luck so uh, yeah more than anything else it's a relief nice uh, so now uh, without wasting any time we'll start with this episode so yeah before i begin let me tell you guys or many of you would already know that we also have a fun rapid fire round towards the end of this video so do watch the entire video uh, so rishikesh the first question for you is that uh, tell us about your neat preparation journey in short so my neat preparation full fledge began in class 11th when i joined coaching and that's when i started uh, neat preparation um, since the beginning my main focus was on limiting the content so it's uh, like Uh, we just have two years for neat preparation i decided to have ncert as the base and do a little beyond ncert to understand ncert better and this helped me in other competitive exams but yeah, i didn't uh, deviate too much from the syllabus and i feel this is very important this has really helped me and besides that i attempted as many questions as possible this question practice uh, i gave a lot of emphasis to it and i gave many mock tests throughout these two years which helped me uh, understand my mistakes understand my strong and weak areas and um, no even learned how to read the textbook better and any time i had doubt i cleared it with my teachers uh, they were really supportive so this was about it i just said to keep it simple and not work myself out too much great uh so the next question is your biggest mistake during your preparation thinking of it i think my biggest mistake was not reading ncert for physics and chemistry well in class 11th so in class 11th i think um, we were trained in such a way or uh, this was my notion that um, physics and chemistry are mainly concept based so there is no need to learn those tables of ncert or those uh, minute points we used to do that for biology but when i saw neat 2020 and uh, then even 2021 paper i got shocked and i realized that uh, what i had done so far wasn't sufficient i had to learn ncert well for physics and chemistry as well in chemistry they had asked something is about temperature and questions from tables so um, this was a little stressful for me in class 12 because i had to learn class 11th ncert as well as class 12th ncert and i began this sometime in november 2021 so yeah this was i think one of the mistakes that committed luckily i was able to correct it uh, in due time and ultimately um, i didn't lose out on that right uh, so guys here's a tip for you that you should focus on ncert from the very beginning itself you should not leave it towards the end So now let's talk about your subject wise preparation strategy uh, let's start with bio uh biology is sir more than anything else i believe that it is very fact based and uh, memory based to some extent so it is very important to know what is required and what is not required for that reason um, as you said and uh, as all my other seniors have been saying for so many years i just uh, mainly stuck to ncert and then coaching module maybe to understand the lines of ncert better and to gain question practice because there are many open ended lines in ncert which uh, we may fumble with when we read so we get an get an idea of uh, those lines only when we read some extra content so i referred coaching module beyond coaching module i didn't use any book because uh, i knew that each book had its own content its own facts and um, remembering all that would um, be first of all a herculean task maybe humanly impossible and then we would miss out on those points which are important as well if we try to stuff so much into our brains so for biology i limited my content and i did question practice to fix this content in my mind and then um, i attempted many mock tests so through these mock tests i learned how to read ncert better initially i just used to skim through ncert but in mock tests they used to frame questions in confusing way which required very thorough analysis of ncert lines so along the way i learned how to read ncert better so this is how i learned bio and um, ultimately i think um, i read bio many times i have lost count of the times i have read ncert but i did go through every diagram every caption in the diagram and each and every line of ncert i analyzed in various ways to find out where i would um, get confused during the exam and i try to resolve that during the learning stage itself nice uh, so like you said that you read ncert many times so like any approx figure how many times you read the bio ncert I have lost count sir but I think that would be more than 20 times for sure. 
because um, yeah. i read in class 11th and then i read revised class 11th content in class 12th as well and during my final stage it was just ncert i didn't refer even to my coaching modules unless i made a mistake uh, in such a question so um, and i didn't read all the chapters same number of times when i used to make a mistake in some ncert based question i used to focus on that chapter Nice. so um, based on my mistakes error analysis i read various chapters uh, different number of times like i read evolution more number of times because there are so many diagrams of ncert and uh, those lines of NCRT, evolution is very fact based chapter uh, line based chapter so i read that more number of times and i think i read genetics less number of times because that is more concept based great uh, so yeah now let's talk about uh, the number of previous year questions you attempted like till which year you attempted the previous years for bio for bio i think it was up to 2010 and uh, i think uh, ncert was a little different before that so i did go through those questions but yeah i didn't um, really get worried if i couldn't answer some questions because i think um, i got to know that they were from old ncert yeah so uh, my main focus was on ai pmt 2015 onwards and i did go through the older questions but uh, not so much i did previous year questions while i was learning the chapters and also during the final leg of preparation that is around 1 month before the final exam great so now let's talk about your physics strategy the most feared subject so physics was um, something of um, a weak topic or fear for me in the beginning as well and um, initially i was scared to open physics it was like my weak topic but then the first thing i realized was that i had to get rid of this fear of physics so i had heard that physics is rank determiner and um, it is like it get helps you get the college you desire so i realized there is no way i can skip physics so first i got rid of that fear and uh, here i think teachers also play a great role uh, they help you understand the concept in physics more than any other subject this concept understanding is better and uh, i got good teachers who helped me understand the concept they helped me visualize it and uh, i think i practiced a lot of questions i cleared my doubts with teachers immediately there are so many models and uh, sometimes i used to get stuck i cleared those doubts immediately and then um, I think I started realizing that my physics scores are going up. In the end, I used to score full marks in physics more than what I used to score in bio. Also. Great. So the books which you followed for physics? Physics. Um, I used to follow H.P. Varma, and uh, I used to read NCERT, of course, and then my coaching modules. I think uh, my coaching had provided a lot of question banks. That is, besides the modules, there were two dedicated question bank books as well, which had more than hundred questions per chapter. So uh, I felt I didn't have to do much beyond this. nice and uh, talking about the pyqs a pyq i had solved all pyqs the same in the same fashion as i did for biology i think i had done uh, more pyqs for physics because um, i think in physics it is not so much memory based or fact based so the questions which were asked be- before 2010 they were of the same type as uh, those asked beyond 2010 or beyond 2015 so um, i had practiced i think up to 2005 or so for physics okay and the number of times you read the physics ncert i read physics ncert a little less so maybe um, i would say around 5 uh, times per uh, chapter <laughs> okay even that so is, as i said that is a good number i uh, yes because i had uh, not read class 11th well in class 11th i had almost not touched ncert in class 11th so in class 12th i had to do it but uh, of course it couldn't be as extensive as uh, it would have been had i done in 11th so yeah i just around five times some chapters like semiconductors i had read more number of times semiconductors and ray optics where there are a lot of uh, fact based like telescope or um, i think transistor etc i had read more number of times uh, the modern physics chapters yes okay and uh, did you solve the back exercise of physics ncert uh, surely i think i realized it a little late but as soon as i realized it i did it for all chapters without fail nice So now let's talk about your chemistry strategy. Uh, so now we come to an end to the academic questions. Now it's time for the fun section of the video, the rapid fire round. So Rishi, are you ready? Ah, uh, hopefully. Okay. Uh, your most favorite and least favorite subject? Ah, uh, in need preparation or as a whole? Need preparation. Um. i think uh, favorite subject i would say um, it changed over time initially it was favorite biology and least favorite physics ultimately in the end um, it got little little reverse because i used to make more mistakes in biology so it became favorite physics and least favorite biology although i have interest in biology but it became a little painful to score marks so yeah and then what about inorganic somewhere in between 
inorganic yeah i think um, in in between it was a pain as well but towards the end i managed inorganic fairly well okay in biology there were always those one or two questions which i used to invariably miss out on so uh, it was very difficult to score full marks in biology so yeah okay and what were you telling about as a whole which subjects you wanted to tell a uh, biology it is uh, my favorite okay as a whole as a whole it's a uh, favorite but yeah to score full marks it is uh, somewhat of a pain but i like to read biology i like to um, read uh, beyond uh, textbook level or uh, our syllabus i really enjoy reading uh, biology in that way. okay uh, give one word for physics conceptual uh, one word for bio bio um most relatable yeah right uh, something you sacrificed during your preparation sacrifice i sacrificed like um, going out with my family for um, like enjoying somewhere out for a trip tour or trips and anyway that was uh, because of covid as well yeah okay your favorite color red your favorite movie and web series uh, so with this question we come to an end to this rapid fire round and to this video as well uh, and i hope that all of you got to learn a lot from rishikesh himself and i hope rishikesh you enjoyed this rapid fire yes sir i really liked it okay so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching signing off bye bye